Hello. Welcome to Mystic Moon Sagittarius. How are you today? Sagittarius. It's a message for Sagittarius. Page of Swords. Those are three cards, Sagittarius. It's like the second time cards just slipped out of my hand when I'm about to grab today. I'll take it. Well, Sagittarius, from what I see here, it's getting a message from someone who's been thinking about you could be in this energy Sagittarius it could be a work offer it could be it could be a work offer of someone who thinks very highly of you it could be Sagittarius it also could be someone who comes off a little is it impulsive is it sarcastic is it forward is it bold is it impetuous some kind of adjective like that Sagittarius I think a message from somebody who would like to see you Either one or the other. Which, if it's work, it could be the same. And if it's a romantic overlay here, well, won't we see Sagittarius? I'm actually curious about the Seven of Pentacles more than I am the King. like a love reading Sagittarius ace of cups ten of cups five of cups drowning in the emotion and trying to think logically of it that's what this energy is Sagittarius now is this a reconciliation is this a reconciliation or just simply wanting a new start with options? Lots of people to choose from, who to choose from, to go and get the desired relationship. Could be. Could be such terms. I have, again, I always get temperance in my Sagittarius reading. You know, there was a time period, Sagittarius, when I was pulling cards for Virgo. And every single reading I got, I got Virgo or Hermit all over the place. Everything was like Hermit, 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 Hermit for, for Virgos. And then it stopped. I guess the trend, that particular trend, that particular wave, I'm not quite on anymore. You know, when I pull on the general trend, Sagittarius, I do pull on waves, right? And frequencies. It's interesting. It's interesting from my perspective of what I feel and then also to how I dream. Anyway, I get a lot of temperance. Always. Of course, I do have Sagittarius in my Neptune. In my 8th house. And I do have Sagittarius in several of my family. So... 
there is that as well. Do you think you're one of the few signs that consistently get Sagittarius energy on? Eight of Wands is even Sagittarius energy for that matter. Anyway, curious. Back to the reading. clarify the Eight of Wands. Sagittarius, what I see, do I see a past person? I see somebody definitely with, you know, their regrets, but they're moving on. They have nothing to do with you. They have nothing to do with you, Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, of course, roles can be reversed, right? This could be you acting in Page of Swords energy. This could also be somebody coming towards you in Page of Swords energy. So keep that in mind. I am going to clarify one more thing because as I was pulling up and clarifying my, my, my temperance, I did get the death card and I do have all four kings here. All four kings, Sagittarius. So I'm curious about death. <laughs> Speaking of hermit and Virgo, I had to say, here I am. But actually, it was appearing every time I did a Virgo read. Doesn't count if it comes up here, right? Right, Sagittarius. Um, yeah, Sagittarius, what I have, now this is either you or this is someone coming at you, or this could be the collaborative energies of both you and this person that I see coming up. You know, Sagittarius, again, these are readings for the collective, so there are those flows and nuances there when you're pulling on a large group. Sagittarius, I do see new love. course there are very nuances of this right in this new love Sagittarius now whoever is going to be sending out this message I do think there's someone who either they have people to choose from or they've been taking stock of their own qualities and attributes that they have you know taking re restock of who they are what they have to offer, where they want to go, who they're looking for, what they would like to see in a person, what they would like to do, Sagittarius. This person, although they are still remembering the past failures that have happened, you know, they're not allowing themselves to be ruled by that keeping it mindful but not allowing themselves to be moved by it or ruled by it. Ace of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, excuse me, Ten of Cups also clarifies the Seven of Pentacles. This person is taking stock of everything, their past experiences and themselves and their future growth, their current growth, their past selves, what they want in their next relationship because they're ready to move on. Sagittarius, the message is going, or communication, outreach is going to start to happen to go and find that next relationship, that stable relationship, that relationship that will be the culmination of who this person currently is. You know, it's also in page of swords energy here because it's like exploring new directions 
new directions of where they want their next relationship to take them. Sagittarius, I have Eight of Wands. You know, if love is not buzzing around in your arena right now, I do think love is should be buzzing around shortly. Sagittarius, in this energy, whoever this Page of Swords is, they are going to start stirring up their social scene quite drastically. Maybe a little too chaotically, maybe Sagittarius. I do see periods of complete inactiveness, so this person could just be there like, all right, let's just go and contact a bunch of people and see what happens. Sagittarius, if you are the one being contacted, do be aware that this person is definitely exploring their options. And Sagittarius, if this is you contacting people, you got a lot of people that you're going to be sorting through. If that makes you happy, that makes you happy. But, you know, ultimately, while this person is sorting through a whole lot of people, Sagittarius, know that ultimately what they are looking for is a stable relationship. They're not, like, necessarily being Casanovas, Don Juans. They are not necessarily being them. They are looking for something stable. They're just casting a very, 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 very wide net. But, you know, hey, they do that. More power to you makes you happy. More power to you makes you happy. Whoever this person is, Sagittarius, this person is miserable. Miserable, 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 miserable. So, yeah, this is our second king. A king of cups who has been miserable. A king that's been sort of stuck over a failed relationship and just sort of recuperating. Could this be a little bit of you and this person? Definitely Sagittarius, it could be. Sagittarius, I did cl clarify the temperance. Why not? We're in a Sagittarius reading after all, and this is Sagittarius energy. Do you have a king of wands and a king of swords clarifying my temperance? So yeah, my king of sword king of cups rather is more than ready and willing now to get out there and meet people to go on with their life. This person wants to move forward. I did clarify temperance. Temperance is clarified by death. Yeah, so besides the fact of being accompanied by those kings, a determination to get out there, a determination to find their next love connection. Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. That energy could be all yours. The energy could be the person coming at you, and it could be a mixture of both. Four King Sagittarius. Someone is determined to get out there and not repeat the mistakes of the past. Find a stable connection. Be stable to someone else too. Interesting. Sagittarius. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for your time and energy today. I do appreciate it. And Sagittarius, if you are not yet a subscriber, but would like to see more and hear some cat meows in the background, consider subscribing. I swear on this channel, Sagittarius, I have the most range, widest range of cat vocalizations you will probably ever hear on an online tarot reading. And Sagittarius, if you ever think, 
wow, I would really like a Siamese cat. Well, you could just tune into this channel and see what is it like living with a Siamese cat? What would it be like to listen to that music every day? Not quite a canary, but just as vocal as a canary. You know, it's a different, different range. Little scratchy meows, little high-pitched meows, little growls. Anyway, Sagittarius, until the next reading, I am wishing all of you the most beautiful day. Bye-bye.